We are just a couple of weeks away from the start of the brand new Linkies U Drift Games Extreme. And this is the exciting time of the year where guys start to reveal their cars, brand new liveries, brand new setups. I'm going to start this episode by not actually revealing the car. I'm going to be revealing what actually is carrying the car because the truck behind me, which I'm going to reveal as I walk away, is the brand new race transporter built by Tomas Falvi. Now, what's even more amazing is that this truck, only a couple of months ago, was a three-car transporter. Now it is a full race truck and camper conversion that can sleep 10. So before we reveal Tomas's new car, which is equally impressive, I thought I'd take a little moment to have a look around this incredible build over the winter. So this truck was originally silver, has been fully resprayed, and Moose Designs did the entire graphics on this entire truck in one day. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going to get to the back in a while and show you guys Tomas Falvi's brand new 2019 car. But I said, first of all, I would give you a quick tour around the truck that will be transporting the team. I'm going to open the cab first. And I'm not a very big truck expert. One of the coolest things in this is actually the LED Falvi 112. And as you can see, there's a little bit of sleeping room in here as well in the cab. But the real impressive part is on the inside. So flip down steps, open up the door and check this place out. If you're going to a drift event this year, this is how you travel in style. So they've got a surround sound system, LED screen, fridges, freezers, pretty much all the comforts of home right throughout the entire truck. You can see all brand new. This was originally a car transporter, remember, not a camper. So this was all done in the last couple of months. And speaking to Tomas, it was a labor of love. There was a lot of work that went into it. Right here, we have a full size shower, toilet, everything you could need. Lock that up. We have some steps here. The steps lead up to two double beds. So you have a double bed here and a double bed on top pretty comfy for a trip across ireland or the uk but the really impressive part is if you open this door you get a full separate bedroom and of course tomas has you know a couple of kids so they can come along for the spin have their own space and tomas and his wife still have a bit of privacy and plenty of storage i think you'll agree this is one of the coolest race trucks out there at the moment and back out the door that is how the guys are traveling this year. And in the back is why we were making this video. It's Tomas Falvi's new look 2019 S15. Adam, exciting time of the year, new oh, cars being revealed. God. It's not even a car, it's the truck. Look at it. The truck is impressive. Yeah. I'm still excited to see the car though. Because yeah, exactly. I know, first of all, it's not the same color as it was last yeah. year. And I haven't seen the side or the front, and I think he's gone over the both here. Yeah, just from the back, it's just enough to tell. It's enough on, yeah. from the back, but I'm looking forward to seeing this thing out in the light. Just rolled Tomas Falvi's brand new S15 off his incredible truck. I'm going to give you guys a quick tour around the car. It's a little bit windy here, so sorry for the audio. But we're just doing a photo shoot on the car. You guys will probably be able to see that on the Drift Games Facebook and Instagram. But I just wanted to give a little closer look at the detail on this car and just how perfectly finished it is. So let's take a look at the outside first. Now this is how you do drift cars in 2019. There's an S15, still has the original lights in and a full Origin Labo kit with the bumpers, and the canards. This is all supplied by Drift2 Motorsport, one of our partners at Drift Games. And that entire graphic scheme, as you can see, which is very slick, is actually custom designed by Moose Design and fitted by Moose Design. And Tomas and Seamus in Moose Design actually came up with this one themselves without designers. So I think that came out really, really cool. Um, running these Avant wheels, which are pretty nice, sponsored by Elite Autos. And this is the full 75 mil you can see the stance on this thing is pretty special. And the one thing I like about these Origin Labo 75mm kits is not only just roof and tail spoilers and everything else, but it's also these canards on the rear, which look really, really cool and give all of these cars that sort of low, aggressive look. And the car is painted in white metallic, so it's not a wrap, it's a full paint job on this one. And here's the most interesting thing, is this 
on the front might look like a sponsor or a logo, but it's actually the initials of all of Tomas's kids on the front of the car. So that's a really, really nice touch. So that's the outside. Let's have a little look under the bonnet. Time to have a look at the heart of Tomas Valvi's S15. And this car runs a fully forged Orbi 25. And I didn't know this, but I've learned that these are actually coil packs from an Audi R8. So supercar coil packs on an Orbi 25. It's a fully forged and built Orbi 25 with a Borg Warner turbo making 600, 650 horsepower. So plenty of power. I really like the fact that it's kind of got the contrast like the outside. So you've got like the gray on the graphics, you've got the gray sort of all on the inside of the tubing in the car, and then the white of the rocket covers to match the car. So really, really, really tasty. And even the bottom of the bonnet, like that detail, is still metallic gray. Awesome job by Tomas there. So we're gonna take a quick look inside. And the first thing that jumps out to me is that the entire car the shell of the car or even the floor is metallic gray not just a gray but like a shine on a gray you can see it there in the sunlight it's like a sparkle on the cage everything and you can see the plumbed in fire extinguisher for the new rules and regulations this year at drift games and at the british drift championship and this car running a samsonis sequential gearbox gauges in the dash very customed to if you're an s15 fan that is kind of one of the go-to modifications aftermarket ecu and tomas running corbo seats this year this is a Borrowed seat from Pete Nielsen, but he'll have his own customized seats from Corbo, passenger and driver for this year. Really, really nice cockpit of a drift car and a nice place to be. And I'm sure an equally impressive place to be over almost 10 or 11 rounds of competition this year. So amazing stuff. Nice to get a quick look through the car. So there you go, guys. We got a quick sneak preview of Tomas Falvi's S15 as it just arrived here in Mondello Park. He was just coming back from getting all of that 650 horsepower from track day performance. And that thing is good to go now for the British Rift Championship and Drift Games Extreme this year. We'll have some more photos and some higher quality video stuff of the car coming up soon on the Drift Games social channels. And I thought this is a really good opportunity to show off some of the amazing builds that are coming this year. Definitely think this will be the best looking grid we've ever had in Ireland. And I'm excited to see them all lined up around one in April. It's gonna be an amazing year of drifting and this thing will be hoping to take top spot. If you're liking the vlogs, we're gonna be doing a lot more of that, revealing cars that are competing across Ireland and Europe this year. If you like those reveals, let us know, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications on. If you haven't been watching the last couple of episodes, if this is the first time you've seen this vlog, Here's a little taster of what you've been missing. What's up guys and welcome to a brand new series on the Drift Games YouTube channel. I've grabbed a vlog camera this year and I'm gonna make my own vlog from behind the scenes at all the stuff we do. There it is, go baby, go boy. They've stumbled upon a gold miner. <laughs> really wanna get some real from this thing. This guy wants a lot of money from it. Pretty much the best car collection in the world. I've never even seen pictures of a collection that showed this many cars under one roof. Fire extinguishers! <laughs> Make sure you go back and check out all of those vlogs. There's some really cool stuff in there. We've been having a lot of fun making them. We went right across the Middle East, but now we're back in Ireland. We're focusing solely on our own project builds in the future of the vlog. And of course, all of the crazy garages and cars that are in Ireland. And then we'll be hitting Europe later in the year. So you don't want to miss out on any of the action. Make sure you hit subscribe, turn the bell on, and make sure your friends know. Tell your friends that these videos are available and we'll keep making them. If you want us to make anything in specific or go to a specific garage or cover a specific car or go back to a subject that we covered earlier, well, let us know. So we've checked out Tomas Falvi's S15. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be revealing a lot of cars in the next couple of weeks. You don't wanna miss out. What do you think of the car? Are you an S15 fan? Are you an Orbi fan or a 2J fan? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching another episode of the Drift Games Vlog. We're back with more in a couple of days time.